going to be a picking video uh, simply because I can't pick this lock. I've been trying for quite a while. John Coulter is a lock collector and he bought this. This is a very rare lock. He found a, another collector in Taiwan. Now I believe this is a US lock but I have never seen or read anything about these. This is a looks like HYT. It's got the registered trademark. It's patented. It's got all the indications that it's made in the States but when you look closely at the key, I, I know you won't be able to make this out, but it's won several European awards. The last one, I think you can make it out on the top there, uh, in 1991. As I said, I've never seen this. Now, let's take a look at this. I'm not going to take this lock apart because it is so rare. And when you look down inside of here, let me get my flashlight. I'm kind of afraid to because it looks like there's about a hundred little discs all up inside of there. And I hope you can see this. The keyway is also not straight. It's a serpentine. It curves very hard to the right and then it curves back to the left, which means standard picks. I can only pick the first pin. Beyond that, I can't get the pick up inside of there. That's been my biggest problem. Well, you might say, well, how in the heck do you, do you pick that? Well, you, there's the key. Here's what the profile looks like. Unfortunately, this is not the key. This is simply a template. If you want to cut a key, this is what you use. So well, how does this lock work? Well, it works beautifully. It's got a slot there. You stick the key in the front and here's where we start together to get the weirdness. It's like all the weirdness in the universe packed into one lock. You grab a hold of the blue part and then you push the key and you'll actually inject it into the lock. It goes around all those curves and then it works very smoothly. Really cool lock. When you want it to come out, it's almost like a hypodermic needle. You grab it like that, you push with your thumb, and you extract it. So that's how you get in there. So let's look a little bit closer at this key. You can see up inside of there, it's almost like a chain. And I'm going to go ahead and push it out here. And see how it's, you guys, some of you guys might be having this problem. But it doesn't stand up by itself, see? It takes, uh, it's got to be inside of this little cover. Or it's got to be up inside of the slot here. And that's how we go around that sharp corner. That's how we pick the lock. As I said, there's the bidding. If I can lay that out. It's the same as the template. And I can imagine, this looks pretty delicate. I mean, it turns every which way. I can't imagine if you were in the middle of the night, had a couple too many beers, you jerk, jerk your key out, you're going to snag that. You have to do it that way every single time to protect that key. Anyway, just a really cool lock. I really would love to see the innards, but I don't want a thousand pieces springing out and not be able to get this thing back together before I send it back to John. So John, thank you sir for letting us take a look at this lock. I wish I could have gotten it picked. It's just not going to happen today, guys. Sorry about that, but if you can get one of these, I'm sure you can spend a lot of hours trying to figure out how to get a straight pick around all those corners. Thanks for your time, fellas. Stay safe, stay legal.